sunny at Sunlit Roads. It is a lazy day here. I've got my big glass of pink Moscato. I'm in my favorite weekend attire and I am thoroughly enjoying myself. I hope you guys are too. I promised you hot fresh videos this week and here they are. But I couldn't decide if I wanted to tell you about the time I got jumped by a ghost in Midtown Manhattan or about the past life regression that I did just yesterday. So I decided to tell you both stories. So quick sip to get us on our way. Make sure to fill up your cups because it's story time at Sunlit Road Psychic TV. Tino and I are Yelpers. If you're not familiar with Yelp, it's like this little app where you, people like to check in and give reviews on restaurants and events and different things. And so we often, especially when we're traveling, will, you know, check out Yelp for restaurant recommendations nearby, which is exactly what we did on this evening in New York. We <clears throat> find this Italian restaurant um, right near where we're, we were staying on 39th and Lexington and we just walk over there and it's a Friday night in New York City. There are no tables left, but yeah, New York City, Midtown, Friday night, seated right away. Dinner for two, no problem. Which doesn't really surprise me because weird things always happen to me and then I just kind of sit down and start to decompress from my crazy day in busy New York City and I'm just feeling really good, feeling really relaxed. I take a sip of wine and I order risotto and I am assuming that this uh, family owned restaurant springs up from a family that lived by the sea in Italy. It's very clear to me that because of the, me based on the menu, that these people were fishermen and they lived right on the water and this is what they ate in their family for probably hundreds of years. So the food comes and it looks amazing and I take my fork and I take a bite and it tastes like heaven on a plate. I take maybe one, two more bites, and all of a sudden I get hit right in the back, right between my shoulder blades, like physically hit. Not only did I get hit, I started to feel like I was far away, um, like I was floating or suspended, and I kind of felt like I was out of my body, but, but at the same time I didn't. I kind of felt like I was pushed to one side of it. I know that sounds really crazy, but that's how physically how I felt. And I must have looked really weird too. Um, because I remember kind of bracing myself and holding myself on the table and kind of feeling like I was going to fall over and looking at Tino and Tino looking at me and, and him saying to me, what is wrong with you? And feeling pale and clammy and weird and looking back at him across this table and not being able to say, I think we need to call an ambulance because I was starting to really freak out and think that I was having like a medical emergency. And I'm looking around and I can't really talk to him and I can't really move. All I'm doing is like holding on and I'm like looking around this restaurant and the next thing that happens is I grab my fork and take a bite of risotto. Who does that? I'm in the middle, middle of like possibly a heart attack or a stroke and, and I, I have a healthy appetite, okay? But even I, in the middle of a medical emergency, am not going to stop for one last bite of risotto on my deathbed. Who does that? Slowly, I start to kind of float back into my body. I just kind of slowly felt like I was going back to normal and then after that, it's probably six or seven o'clock at night. I was completely drained. Like when your cell phone says lights out and it won't turn on again, that was me. But what I believe happened that night <clears throat> was that this man, and I get a vision, a visual of him, an older Italian man um, who probably either founded the restaurant or brought the family to the United States, hopped in my body and simply wanted to taste that food again and wanted to be in his restaurant, physically be in his restaurant among his family members and his 
you know, dinner guests and taste that food one more time. And that is truly what I believe happened that night in New York City.